uh, I request Mr. Imtiaz Ali to say a few words about Zement. He has been involved with it for a longer time than we are. We are just starting. Hi, good evening. There are too many people who I know and recognize. There are too many respected principals. Mr. Baishal is here. He's the only one who got two roses in his bouquet for some reason. <laughs> um, uh, that's why I, I can make it from him at the end of this ceremony. My uh, relatives are here. My Bhavi is here. Sister Flavian, Father Abraham, Father Victor. So I feel like a schoolboy in front of them. Mr. Srivastava is here. He is a towering personality of Jamshedpur, as all of you know. I've seen him on the basketball court. We all used to try to play like him, but we couldn't. We still had to jump and he could still just reach. So, um, so I feel like a schoolboy suddenly, you know, at best behavior and disciplined just by the presence of uh, much more eminent personalities than myself. Thank God for less eminent personalities, the younger students who make me feel <laughs> slightly senior at this occasion. Um, I have met Venkat of Give India in Bombay a long time back. And he was trying to explain to me this concept of joy of giving, giving week and he said that we'll open it up, there'll be lots of people um, who would want to give and a lot of people would facilitate that. And uh, um, I kept asking him, and uh, Mr. Anshu Gupta is here, and I kept asking him, so what is it that you're looking for? He said, no, you know, there'll be a lot of people um, who want to give and a lot of people who want to facilitate and there are of course a lot of people in this country who do good with taking all of that. So I said, yeah, but what is in it for you? So it took me a lot, lot of time to understand that that's it for him too. The fact that if, uh, see like I always believe that there is a, a, a demand and a supply so there is a, you know, you feel like, um, um, you know, you feel like passing on to the less fortunate. It's a natural human tendency, and you feel very uh, suffocated in the in in the life that you live when you are unable to do that. So he, what the joy of giving week is to is trying to do, as far as I'm concerned, and I and I hate this concept of charity being a very boring word. What you doing? I'm going for a charity thing. You know, it's not cool. I think for one thing uh, uh, that uh, I'm trying to do is to say that it's it's not it's, it's not boring. It can be pretty entertaining. You know, you can have a lot of fun doing this because actually it gives you a lot of relief. And uh, um, I think this is most more than anything else. Of course, the joy of giving week is going to facilitate. A, a lot of events, it will start a lot of things, it will get the supply and the demand together for a while, it will start that mechanism, but more than anything else, it will bring uh, the satisfaction and the joy of giving in the hearts of the people and tell them that it is possible to make a difference, to live a life less guilty. You know, we are all living, we are getting with this whole capitalistic um, um, our outlook of life. We are all living very narrow lives, you know, and you guys will go out and see that. And you'll feel very sophisticated, you'll feel what is the point of my life here, and there's nothing wrong with ambition, but there's always going to be a social responsibility. So this, the joy of giving week tends to, to show you the way, really, and to, and to bring in, uh, into the hearts of a lot of people, the satisfaction of giving. Um, so I'm, I'm really thankful to uh, Mr. Madhukar and to SLRI, all the student bodies over here who are participating in it. And believe me, this is really making a difference. So thanks a lot, and I hope this becomes a huge success.